Ooh, Team Go Rocket has invaded Pokemon Go. As today, we will be defeating 100 Team Rocket Grunts and leaders also. So hi, hi to all of you guys. So let me go ahead and bring my screen up. And you guys can see there are so many Team Go Rocket Grunts around me already. And yeah, there are still many like around me, around me. So... Before I even uh, start fighting, let me show you guys my uh, count though. So normally I would actually battle more than 100 in a video to show you guys but for the last few days, the weather has been really bad. It would rain really heavily and it seems as if it's about to rain also. So hopefully I can get it done, the 100 battles in the next uh, few hours before it starts raining. So my count for the Team Rocket Grand uh, battles, the, I mean total battles is at 17,333. Very easy number to remember. and. Yeah, I've been really lucky to have been able to uh, get myself a few. Oh, some of the grunts are despawning already. I can't even see that. Uh, some good uh, shadow uh, Pokemon like this. A hundred percent shadow Ratata. Not good. But I got this instead. A Hundo Magneton. All right. I woke up yesterday in the morning and I managed to get this. Really lucky. Really happy to have gotten this though. Yeah. So I guess I'll max it out next time in another video or should i do it now nah do it in another video all right so we're gonna start battling the grinds over here though so um looks like there are four or five around me there were six or seven around me just now before i started the video but yes despawned so my team is not exactly fully optimized for the team rocket Br grinds yet grinds grinds yet but uh hopefully they fare well enough so currently it's 2 48 pm let's go ahead to start the grind and for every five, after every five battles, I'll update you guys and show you guys uh, what I've caught, alright? Well guys, I've got good news and I've got bad news. The good news is I've just taken down Arlo. And let's see if I get myself a shiny. The bad news is I see as if it's about to drizzle already. As I see like some raindrops like dropping onto the ground. So that's not really good for us. So anyway, this is uh, battle number three and yeah, the wind is picking up also. Um, Glygla, please stay in the ball, thank you very much. Alright, next. Alright guys, I just defeated the 5th Team Rocket. Let's go ahead to see uh, the reward. Yep, it's good that right now we can skip the rewards uh, slightly uh, to speed things up a little as compared to last time. We got a Shadow Psyduck. And where are you? Alright, so we're going to do semi-fast catch. Basically waiting for the ball to shake 3 times before we actually run away from it. 1, 2, and run. Alright, so I'm going to catch every single one of them. That's a grunt over here already. I'm going to show you guys what I've caught so far. Let's go ahead and type Shadow. Okay, and uh, starting from the Macro, yeah? CP318 all the way to the side up. I'm going to do the appraisal later at the end of the video. Yeah, I can feel the rain drops dropping on me already, so... Uh, please do not rain. Yeah, okay, let's go ahead and take this first before I walk over to the other side to take that. Yeah, I guess. Let me see. Just double check. Okay, good. Cool, I know where to go. Yep, let's go. Alright guys, we are down to Team Rocket Grunt number 10. So, I actually use Roserade when I fight the Water Type Grunt because uh, with Razor, Leaf and Leaf Storm as the charge move, it basically almost one-shots the last Pokemon. Yep, so I feel like that's the fastest way to do it. Even Totera, Shadow Totera doesn't uh, deal as much damage as the Leaf Storm from uh, Roserade, man. Roserade is just sick. Alright, alright, we caught the Psyduck. Let's go ahead and see what we have. Alright, we have a balloon over there which lasts for 15, 15 20 minutes. Alright, we got a 12 kilometer egg that's hatching also. So it's already um, 17 minutes into the grind right now. We are on number 10, so we are on pace. Alright, 1443 is the handle for Epsol hatch. Alright, we're gonna um, equip the radar. Let's go ahead to type shadow. Alright, so I've gotten all those though, uh, two Psyducks. Yeah, so another thing though, the rewards for right now, it seems quite okay. I wouldn't say it's utterly bad, though I was hoping for Shadow Torchic to be available, but clearly it's not. So sad to say, uh, <laughs> we have to wait for it to be available. And also, uh, Shadow Matang is possible to be obtained uh, if you defeat the Psychic Run, I suppose, and uh, it being the second slot as the Pokemon. But uh, so far, I've only gotten one after defeating like more than 300. Um, yeah, it's okay, it's fine, no worries. I'm gonna use Mammoth Swine anyway, because the last Pokemon needs to be uh, avalanched. Yeah, so um, the rewards in like totally, totally good. Especially the leaders, as mentioned to you guys. Would have been better if uh, Bagon was available though. Yeah, would have been better. 
And it also would be better if I have my Galarian Darmani then in this situation because uh, that would be the best but I do not want to power that one up so hence why I'm using Mamoswai instead of that. Yeah. Okay guys, just defeated Sierra and this is battle number 15. So just want to tell you guys that uh, the way to play Team Rocket runs efficiently is actually to plan ahead. Not one, not two, but sometimes even three steps ahead, three pocket stops ahead to head towards the direction that you want to head to. But of course it's not going to happen for everyone because not everyone is like as, I guess, fortunate as me to have so many pocket stops within their area or in their playground and also not uh, as unlucky as me to have the needle ramp pop up from the ball despite throwing a great throw already. Yep, so it's okay, no worries. This should get it caught. Okay, critical catch. Alright, so there are two Team Rocket grinds over here, then there are two over there, over uh, there, so that I will hit towards that direction. I already know how I'm gonna walk. So, oh yeah, before we actually go into the next battle, though, let me show you guys what I've gotten so far. That's Frozen. Uh huh, that's a Frozen, meaning it's an ice typing one. Alright, so those are the ones that I've caught. Not really that exciting, to be honest. I would rather have Sea Dot because uh, that's a more useful Pokemon to have, especially for Go Battle League. Yeah, so um, in terms of rewards uh, from the Team Rocket grind, it's a little underwhelming other than for Swine Up right now. If you were to get Swine Up, that's really good. And the CP that I'm looking for is 167, that is the Hando level 8 uh, Swine Up from the grind. But so far, I've not gotten it yet. So far, I've not even gotten close to it yet. Also. So anyway, another tip for you guys to play Team Rocket uh, fast though, is to actually to not use your charge moves all the time. But right now, I've just used my Shadow Machamp to take out two of the Pokemon and then the last Pokemon I'll just use the charge move alright though I need to do another three more two more counters and he'll be down yep so that's practically really fast already alright let's go into the next uh, battle right now okay guys we are 33 minutes into the grind and this is battle number 20 going at an okay pace I suppose yeah I'm picking up the pace now though because I'm getting used to it yeah I was warming up just now at the start so let's go ahead and catch this Hound Hour of course, uh, doing the semi-fast catch. I'm doing semi-fast catch for every one of them just to speed things up a little bit so that I don't waste so much time. So let's go ahead to type shadow. All right, so uh, just not a sign up though. It was at CP135, not really good. That's very bad. All right, there's one grind over there. I'm gonna walk towards the direction and there should be two more there. So hopefully they don't despawn, yeah. Well guys, the two grinds that I was going after despawned, but another three more appeared. So this is number 25, another 75 more to go. Feeling really good. And let's see, what do we get? Alright, so anyway, it's really 41 minutes into the grind. And we are going at a very good pace, like I said. And I'm gonna turn here instead because the traffic light can't cross yet. Uh, so I'm walking towards this direction to actually get the Poké stop from across the road. That's the good thing about knowing where to walk. Okay, that's not the bad, that's not a good thing when you have your needle ran jumping out of the ball so many times please stay in the ball please stop jumping out because I'm so lazy to throw the ball at you every day okay two three okay thank you very much all right so here yep so I'm, I'm heading back towards the spot that I started off at we're gonna get one of the grants first before we walk cross the road to get the others okay I can cross the road already the traffic light is turning right now yeah I'm sorry guys, I was so focused at crossing the road that I forgot to show you guys my storage. So let's go ahead and claim this reward first. It should be a Magnemite or a Electabuzz. Hopefully it's an Electabuzz because I'd rather have that. Here's a Magnemite, it's fine. By the way, that Hando Magneton that I showed you guys at the start of the video is actually a Magneton, not a Magnemite. So, really lucky to have gotten that as a Hando can use it in the Master League, I suppose so. Alright, so there are three grants around here, very good. Let's go ahead to check out my storage and also to feed my Snorlax later on, my buddy Pokemon. So those are the Pokemon I've caught. A lot of Hitmon Chance and Hitmon Lease though, not the ones that we want because we would rather get Shadow Machops, I know. But uh, it is what it is and it kind of sucks. And also to have the Hitmon Lease or Hitmon Chance as the first Pokemon, it's tougher than having the Machop or the Makuhita as the first Pokemon because it's much easier to fight the grunts if it's the easier Pokemon as the first slot. But it's okay, let's go ahead to continue with that. And goodbye Snorlax, yeah. Alright guys, let me show you guys how fast Shadow Tyranita with Bite takes down Psychic type grunts. In fact, I use this against the Ghost type grunts also. So check this out. 
Right, psychic type grunt, yeah, I mean, uh, Rox is going to suffer neutral damage, but look at the amount of damage the bite is going to do. And this is not the level 50 uh, Shadow Tyranita. I don't even have enough Candy XL to power it up. So, it's now, I think, at level 47 or 48, but look how quickly uh, the HP goes down, man. Half health just before the Matang actually does any damage to um, the Shadow Tyranita. It's just insane. All right, I'm just going to go with Crunch and whatever that comes out. We'll almost get one shot already, especially if it's an Alakazam where it's so glassy. So, yep, and then uh, just one more bite and it's down. If you use the non Shadow Tyranita, you will have to do another three or four more bites before it goes down. Alright, so that's how good Shadow Pokemon are. And yeah, I've been using Shadow Pokemon uh, to like uh, fight the Team Rocket Grants most of the time, unless they cannot survive to actually fire off another charge move, especially on the last Pokemon. Then I would actually uh, consider using the non Shadow forms. Yeah, but most of the time the shadow forms they can survive uh, better because the amount of damage that you dish out will take down the shadow pokemon the grind pokemon faster hence you don't take that much damage also in return so you have to consider that anyway there are three uh, grinds around here and arlo is there also so i'll stand here and i guess uh, do those battles but let's check out this uh, egg hatch it might be a shiny valor bee man is it it's a valor bee but it's not shiny well fat bird right <laughs> okay so anyway let's go ahead to check out um um, my shadow Pokemon right now okay and also I'm gonna show you guys the counter remember I started off at 7,333 so those are the ones that I got shadow rocks is cool though I mean I don't mind getting more of it but truth being said uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it at all to like battle uh, rates but for grunts I probably will use it so um, let me see where's the okay here so I'm at exactly 30 already 363 right so that's 30 all right, so I'm going to continue the battle. Let's go ahead to fight Arlo first. Uh, tap the wrong one. I'm not, I am not. didn't want to tap the Pokestop. I wanted to tap on Arlo, but fine. I'll tap this Pokestop instead and connect to Arlo. Yes. Yeah, guys, I'm sitting down here. I need to rest my legs. Anyway, I took quite a while to defeat uh, Arlo because uh, <laughs> I was keeping my camera so much so that I did not shield the first attack that came from the Gliga and my Memoswine died. So I had to use my second Pokemon, which is a Polyrough without Ice Sponge to try and take out the uh, Gliga, and it took a really long time to take it out. Anyway, yeah, this Gliga is misbehaving, it is not shiny, so let's jump to the next Pokemon. Ho -ho, we are exactly one hour into the grind already guys, okay one hour and two minutes. <laughs> and this is battle number 35, so um, let's go ahead to see what we get. And I'm heading towards two Pokestops with two grants on. Yeah, Shadow Macro. So Shadow Macro is actually a Pokemon that I'm trying to get also because uh, Shadow Macro is actually one of the best flying type attackers behind of Shadow Moltres right now. And also Mega Rayquaza, which is not available. So I've already powered up two Haunch Crows, Shadow Haunch Crows to level 50. But I want to get another one. Uh, hopefully, I'm able to get another one that will make a team of six. Um, technically six, right? Oh no. Uh, yeah, because I'll be using one as my Mega for now until uh, we get more Shadow Motresses, I suppose so. Yeah. Anyway, um, we have two grinds here, like I said. Oh, yeah. Let me show you guys my storage. Hang on. All right, so let's go ahead and type Shadow. Not Shafo, but sh f Shadow. All right, so those are the Pokemon that I've gotten. Uh, Charmander also is kind of interesting, but... I'm going to wait for Shadow Torchic to come out before I even uh, consider upgrading my Fire-type Pokemon because I'm using Shadow Moltres and Shadow Entei's already, especially the Shadow Entei to fight the Bug and Grass-typing Pokemon also. So, um, I don't think I want to get Shadow Charizard because uh, Blaziken, Shadow Blaziken will eventually beat it. Yeah. Battle number 40th done, guys. Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and claim this reward. It's going to be a Rock-type Pokemon. That's Larvita! That's the Pokemon that you want to get if you want to get yourself a good Rock-type Pokemon. And I still feel that using Shadow Tyranita as compared to Rampados is better against the Team Rocket Grunts because of it being able to survive longer and also the typing, the duck typing, especially if you fight against something like a Crobat or a Golbat which has Bite, you can survive better. Anyway, there's a Sierra over there, so I'll fight Sierra first before I fight the two Grunts here. And let me show you guys this egg. It's a Toga P375. That's the Hundo. A 355. All right. There's a Darumaka over there in the wild though. Nice. Hopefully my Ball Plus gets it. But let's go ahead to check out Shadow. I got myself a Snorlax, so that's why I took quite a while to 
uh, complete the last five battles or so. Not so good IV one, I can see that just by looking at the number. Alright, so um, 4 plus doing the work, let's go ahead and tap on Sierra and that'll be the battle number 41. Alright guys, I'm taking the opportunity to take as much break as I can because with this new camera, this heavy camera, it makes me tired much quicker. And let's see that we did not get ourselves a shiny needle ran from um, Sierra, but it's fine, no worries. We have so many days to actually go after him. I've got three months, more than three months to actually <laughs> hunt for this. Yay! Yeah, let's go ahead and fight the grunt. This one first, the further one away, and then I'll walk towards the direction to get the rest. Let's go. Oh, back full. Clear some stuff, man. Battle number 45 done, guys. Guess what? The rain is picking up. And I hope it doesn't rain too heavily, so much so that I have to stop the grind. Because I'm on number 45 right now, so <laughs> just slightly under halfway through. Let me go ahead and catch this uh, electrite first. And there's actually one grunt next to me already. Uh, it should be caught because it's a green circle. Alright, good. So there's one grunt over there. Let's go ahead to check out um, Shadow. So those are the Pokemon that I've gotten. Nothing really too exciting to uh, talk about. Um, did not hatch anything. Of course, I thought I hatched the Froki, but alright, I'll go the other side to uh, get those over there, the four behind the red gym. Can get those. Yeah, let's go. Alright guys, I've made it back to the same starting point again. And <laughs> this is battle number 50. I'm halfway through and it's currently 4.18pm. Means it's one and a half hours since I started the grind. Alright, let's go ahead and catch this Hitmonchan. Not gonna fast catch it. But yeah, one and a half hours, 50 battles, including leaders. So uh, I'm not playing as fast as uh, how I played when I did the 442 team rocket battles at night because uh, the leaders were not spawning other than from the balloons so that's the thing about Hitmonchan so it kind of sucks catching the Pokemon right now I would say there's the Pokemon the catch rate they are really really poor like Macro, uh, Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan etc so it takes a while to catch them and I don't use berries at all you guys should know it by now alright so there's a hundred, uh, 50 battles really we got 3 uh, grunts over here nice ok we're gonna see a 2 km egg hatch so anyway, after this as well, I'm just going to update you guys every 10 battles because uh, um, the video is pretty long already and also um, I think uh, I just want to show you guys the uh, final like shadow count that I get and whatever that I get and hopefully I get myself uh, another hundo I suppose so I've really gotten two in the last few days so <laughs> I guess I was really lucky but I got myself a Dratini also so that's a good thing and got two um, Lavitas back to back so um, other than that, let's go. <laughs> sure, let's see another two kilometer egg hatch, alright? Okay, we got ourselves a Meditite. <laughs> Not what we want. Alright, let's go ahead to uh, see the count for the Team Rocket grunts before I continue uh, grinding again. And uh, yeah, 17,383. So like I said, because it's been raining the last few days, I did not go out and grind that much. Hence, my adventure sing is only at 50.1 kilometers right now despite it being a Thursday already normally it should be around 70 or 80 kilometers or even close to 100 kilometers by now if I'm really really playing hard but uh, yeah it's been raining really really heavily so today I would dare say I'm just very lucky that it did not rain like heavily at all it's just like drizzling here and there so um, the grind continues see you guys in the next uh, 10 battles alright guys battle number 60 done Oh, let me tell you guys something really bad. I was at a spot with three grunts. Fought one, and the other two despawned. So uh, this rock that I'm doing, usually it will take me 28 minutes to 25 minutes to walk, if I do not need to fight grunts. But because I'm fighting grunts, and I'm spending time like waiting for a bit, it takes me around 35 to uh, 40 minutes to do uh, one lap. Hence, uh, that grunt despawned. Alright, we have another one here that just appeared. Arrow is over there on the right. Yeah, alright, let's take this one first. It's a dragon type one. Oh yeah, I need to show you guys my storage, but let me fight this first. And here we go. Dratini is here. After defeating that Grunt, let's go ahead and catch it. Come on, three shakes, quickly. Three shakes, three shakes, and we are done. Yes, okay, good. Let's go ahead and check out this storage though. Um, let's go ahead and type Shadow. Yep, so those are the 11 Pokemon, not 10 anymore, that I've caught. I mean, the Dratini is the most exciting one, I suppose. CP is pretty okay, but it's not high enough. Yeah, so um, let's go ahead to um, fight Arlo, and then I'll walk towards the direction to get all those. Yeah, you can see four that I'm heading towards already, after fighting Arlo, yeah. 
Alright guys, another 10 more battles later. I'm done with battle number 70. It was drizzling a bit, then it stopped. Then drizzling a bit again, then it stopped again. So I do not know what's up with the weather today. I just hope it doesn't pour and like storm like what happened for the last few days, man. It wasn't drizzling at all like for the last few days. It was really like pouring and storming and there's no way you can play Pokemon Go out in the weather, such weather like that. Anyway, um, let's go ahead to uh, see that. Yep, we got ourselves the uh, component and we got a 2 kilometer egg that's hatching. So a lot of things that's going on and if you just keep on fighting grunts and don't stop, you know, a lot of these uh, notifications will just get stacked up. Alright, so let's go ahead to equip that and uh, let's go ahead to see uh, the shadow Pokemon though, number 70 already, right? Okay, so we managed to get one Venonet also, not really ideal also, but we got two uh, Mudkips also. This seems pretty high, uh, never mind, yeah, okay, uh, next. Well, 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 guys, I must say that I've been really unlucky. I wanted to fight another two more grunts, but they despawned after I fought the previous uh, battle, man. Anyway, this is battle number 80. I'm heading towards another grunt. Um, after seeing the other two grunts despawn, but it's okay, no worries. And let's see what this is. We got a 10 km egg that spun out from the Pokestop. Oh, another 10 km egg. Okay, so it means my eggs are hatching. So hopefully I don't uh, <laughs> show you guys me hatching the eggs on camera. But instead go into my storage quickly. Like right now, go into my storage. Prevent the egg from hatching. And I'm going to show you guys what I've gotten. Yeah, got a swine up. Got a macro. Got a sable eye. And another Arlo from um, in the Glyga and Routes. Anyway, for those of you who are, you know, getting your Sable Eye for Great League, please do not remove frustration because if you were to remove frustration, um, you cannot get returned. Oh, there's another grind that just appeared here. Good, that's gonna be 81. Alright, guys, I'm back at the starting point again, and this is battle number 90 already. Still got another 10 more to go, man. Alright, let's see the CP. Not very high though. Oh, this is, I think, one of the lowest weather boosted shadow routes I've seen. But definitely not as low as the one that I have in my storage. Let me show you guys something really interesting. Alright, my ball blast fainted. Let's just do an appraisal on this. Alright, really bad. Alright, so let's go ahead to the type shadow and see uh, those are the Pokemon that I've gotten. And yeah, I am just. 10 more away from reaching the target for today. 10 more. So um, let me show you guys something really interesting though. Let's type routes and shadow. Oh no 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 no. Why don't I know how to spell anymore? I'm sorry. My brain is fried. Look at that. I got a CP10. CP10 shadow route. This was when uh, Team Go Rocket first came out and uh, you could get a level 1. <laughs> yeah, I caught this when I was in Manila doing my Pogo tour but... <sighs> can't do that right now and uh, hopefully I can resume that soon yep. and also resume uh, catching Pokemon with my Ball Blast yep. uh, let's continue the grind connecting the Ball Blast and also uh, lo looking at this 5km in catch another Togepi yep. anyway the grind continues 10 more to go okay guys I'm taking a break now <laughs> I need a break yeah, because it's currently 5.44pm, just slightly under 3 hours since we started the grind already. And this is not battle number 100, it's battle number 99. But there is a Team Rocket grunt next to me at the Pokestop over here, but provided I can catch this Nidorina first. Nidorino is a, the male one. Yeah, oh, okay, stay in the ball, Nidorino. Actually, it looks like a rhino, right? So, I must say that today I've been really, really lucky. Like, it, it, it seemed as if it was about to rain, but it did not. So, um, really good. Okay, there are actually two grinds here. So, in fact, let's just fight uh, both of them. Uh, maybe one off camera, alright? Because, uh, let's go ahead and heal the Pokemon first. Yeah, so, initially I thought it was going to rain like super duper heavily today. Hence why I was a bit contemplating to actually do the video today. And as said at the start of the video, I wanted to battle 500 grunts. But I wasn't able to do so ever since the Team Go Rocket Invasion started. It will rain really heavily. I wouldn't have enough time to complete the 500 grunt battles. So um, here we are with 100 uh, battles, man. I mean, uh, I'm still going to fight the Team Rockets uh, with or without the events. But 
I must say that the weather has really uh, made me not uh, go out and grind that hard. Well, Duck Trio, I mean, this is the first time I'm fighting a Duck Trio from uh, the Team Rocket Grind. But I mean, I, I did go bus grind once uh, during this period when uh, the Team Rocket invasion started and I grinded for two and a half hours on the bus, so I didn't really play to my fullest potential. But that being said also, I'm actually trying to get used to the new camera and also I kind of updated my MacBook. So um, the video editing software that I'm using has been updated and Photoshop has been updated. So much so that I'm trying to get used to all of them. Other than that though, I've been having some issues with my editing or so, but I managed to resolve it for now. But hopefully I can improve it even more, even further because uh, I want to speak things up and uh, I might have to upgrade my MacBook man because my MacBook is a 2017 version model MacBook so it's really really old yeah enough of talking though there two, another grunt just appeared over there let's go ahead and check out the count for the um, I guess the Team Rocket I'm currently at 17,433 clearly you guys can see that I'm kind of exhausted because I've not drank a single drop of water since I started the grind and I've been talking to you guys also at the same time. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out though. Uh, what did we get um, shadow wise? All those, right? Let's just go ahead to type uh, 4 star. Did we get any handles? Oh yeah, we did. We got a gold pin. Whoa! Gold plus. Not that exciting anymore guys. Alright, so I'm not going to keep that. But as for shadows wise, let's just go ahead and do a quick appraisal and let's see what are the noteworthy ones. I would just have to go through all the way to the macro. Can't remember the CP of the macro though, but uh, let me just go ahead to see what we have. Um, nothing so exciting right now from what I can see. Yep, I'm doing it relatively fast. Um, what is that? Okay, nope. Looking for PvP IVs or so though. Um, so far, I did not see anyone that's like wor worth noting. So. Um, Okay, how about this? This is this might be a good Dragonite for uh, Ultra League, so I'll keep that for now and do the appraisal later. I've started it already. Alright, um, this Zubat is almost going to be a Hundo, but I do not want any more Hundo Zubats because uh, I've got too many Hundo Zubats. Alright, Shadow Zubat also, I think I got... Okay, I got zero, but Purified one, I got a few. Alright, um, I didn't get myself a zero IV Shadow, did I? No, I did not see that one as that. Alright, so that is another PvP IV one. I just saw that. And then uh, let's see even more. Okay, swine up though. One five nine CP. That was uh, not uh, for for today already, right? Yeah. So I think I've reached the macro already. So I think that is all that I have to show to you guys, man. The macro was a uh, was a uh, above yeah three one eight CP. That's the macro. That was the start start of the video, man. Yeah. So I believe that's all right. I think so. Hopefully. Hopefully. Alright, so I think that's all that I have to show to you guys in this video, man. If you guys uh, enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like on the video. It'd be much appreciated. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. Haha, -ha. what are we going to do? Well, it's time to battle the leaders for real and also to try to get their shiny shadow forms, Nidoran and also Glyga. As for the Grimer from Cliff, nah, I got too many already. I don't want it. So uh, we will continue the hunt for those two Pokemon and also Shiny Vellaby hatching from 12km eggs in another separate video. Alright, so with that said, I would like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. Alright, goodbye, goodbye, good bye!